Well, here we are driving the mighty Sturm Panzer. Sturm Panzer is a pretty good tank. It just has a few slight issues. It's very slow, has almost no armor, and its crew is completely exposed. But its one benefit is it has an absolutely massive gun. So we're going to be demonstrating some of the firepower of that gun. And when you use the Sturm Panzer, you always just want to use high explosive because immense fragmentation just blows apart anything you can encounter. Except maybe the mouse. The mouse has a little bit too much armor for even the Sturm Panzer to handle because its gun is so low velocity. And there we just sniped a tank from 50 kilometers away. We didn't kill him, but we did hit him with some of the fragments of that. We are driving the Sturm Panzer. We've just reached its top speed of around 40 kilometers an hour. It's pretty slow. It has a decent actually reload speed for such a large gun, when you really think about it. Oh, there's a Panzer 4F2. That 75mm gun punches through our armor like paper. Little does he know is that the Sturm Panzer's gun is a bit bigger. And there he goes. One hit to the cupola and he's dead. Oh look, there's a Valentine speedily going across the battlefield. Can we hit it with the low velocities gun of the Sturm Panzer? Oh, poor poor Valentine. He never knew what hit him. Look at that giant smoke cloud. <laughs> Sturm Panzer usually does best when you're, you have some cover that you can quickly peek out of and then shoot tanks, because otherwise you're going to get hit. Oh look, there's another Sturm Panzer. Oh, my squad mate, Matthew. Oh, we're going to plane. Who cares about the plane when you have a Sturm Panzer? We're just going to kamikaze so we can get back into the Sturm Panzer. Hey look, there's a pretty nice Soviet tank. Oh, we hit him, but we didn't do much. Oh, we actually hit another Sturm Panzer and managed to kill one of his crew members. That's one of the problems with the Sturm Panzer. The crew is very exposed. Oh, my squad mate was just killed. Oh, that poor tank destroyed everything. Oh, it looks like the Sturm Panzer is about to die. That half track can e that half track can easily kill us with with his anti aircraft guns. Poor Sturm Panzer. The problem is, is once you hit and you have several crew members dead with the Sturm Panzer, it takes a really long time to even get the possibility to take a shot. There we go. We did manage to destroy the transmission of that half track, but we're dead. That Chinu's gun penetrated our armor like paper. Well, thanks for watching me, Air Cruiser P1000, and the mighty Sturm Panzer.